and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the Villagers Plus Plus add-on. Ahem. Um, this looked a bit interesting on the store page. It, like, I saw that you could like hire, uh, like guard villagers and stuff. So we can take a look at it and see how well it improves the villagers. Also, there weren't really any other idols I was super interested in this week. Mm. Really? So, hopefully, I might have to go back through this uh, and then pick out a couple more or something. I don't know, but I might not be able to get a video out to, uh, as many videos out as I usually can because, like I said, a uh, bunch of them is not. Nice. Yeah, villagers plus plus. I feel like the the guy they've made a different add on. I can't remember which, but they've we use the same texture for the book. So yeah, hello Lily. Ow my eye. Yes, hello. And there's another one of these books with tiny text. Welcome, decorate the center of your village with uh, the uh, villager landmark and invite various uh, villagers from alternative realms who won't keep disappearing with this add-on. You uh, can uh, now uh, explore more peacefully without worrying about your village being raided by hostile entities by invoking the tankers, the guardians and more. Uh, contents, mobs, decorations, foods, consumables, and weapons. Right. So, let me... Can I just... Give me this, please. I, do... I love you too, Baba Boo, but i got this to do. There you go. So the preview preview used above is the village landmark. My just my just touch. Let me. Uh, inviting villagers. There are two categories of uh, villagers that can uh, be summoned. Regular and advanced. To invite them you will need to interact with the villager landmark. So that's two cobblestone, two wood and a copper ingot. Inviting a regular villager will require an iron... In so let's... Uh, let me get myself the landmark real quick. So... Give... At P land mark. So I'll just put that there. So you got Japanese, Midas Touch, Copper Tinker, and the Monolith. Let's do the Copper Tinker. A oh, Tinker, not Tinker. So, writing it will require an iron invitation that while inviting an, an advanced villager will require an emerald invitation. So, let's go to here. All in the. In the. So, iron invitation is uh, six paper and an iron ingot. And an emerald invitation is the same, but with an emerald uh, instead of iron. So the both of these are pretty easy to get, make. So I just give at p iron in the iron invitation sixty four. Oh, and they only stack up to sixteen. That's great. Let me just chuck them out then. 
Now, so, oh, landmark design, landmark access, landmark coverage, available villagers, invite villagers. So, available it says nothing. Invite villagers, regular villager. So, we've got invite regular villager. You can change their names. So, let's call you Bob. Villager ties, so they got Japanese, Medieval, and the Modern. Let's do Medieval and turn Roman on. So he's a villager named Bob. I'm right clicking him and it's not doing anything. Do I need, what if I give RP comp composter and I place down the composter? Will he link to the composter? No. Oh, well, what's the point in you then? I guess he does. Right, you might want some for thing, but it's, you can't trade with him. So what's the point? And you can't kill him. Hold on. Uh, let's. I want the M L R. Right, villager advanced. Name. Uh, Tom. So we've got Brute, Draw, Farmer, Guardian, Healer, Hunter, Ronin, Tanker, Unknown, Trader, Villager, and Wizard, Villager. So yeah, we've got a bunch. So, Brute. Let's keep it as Brute. Turn roaming on. Oh. Hello. So, oh, so we got Recruit and Target. Target. Hostile mobs, neutral mobs, passive mobs, and other players. So you can turn these on and off. Recruit. Recruit. I have no idea what recruit does. If I some vin a vindicator. Out. There you go, he got him. There you go, so he's a big guy. So I guess you can only trade with like the advanced villagers, but then what's so, so basically regular villagers are just n a bunch of nitwits. Let's get a bunch of these. So, there. Steve Jr. Make this a dwarf villager. So, you, yeah, you can trade with the dwarf villagers. You give them a Neverite sword and a fire chat, and you get a Neverite sword with fire aspect 2 and mending. Trade them a trident of 16 Nautilus shells, it gives you impaling 5 and loyalty 3. Uh, diamond Sword and Amethyst, uh, you get a Looting 2 and Sharpness 5 Diamond Sword. Iron Helmet, t uh, uh, Diamond Helmet and Iron Ingus gives you Blast Protection 4. Diamond Pickaxe, 4 Emeralds give you Silk Touch and Efficiency 3. I don't know if that's the same. Let's uh, get another Dwarf in here and see. I have reached the limit of Dwarf Villages for some reason. Okay. Farmer. He looks like a scarecrow, so you can give him iron nuggets for potatoes, iron, two iron ingots for an enchanted golden apple. That is really overpowered. Like, that is just unacceptably overpowered. Now you can get a ton of iron quite easily, and then just converting them into enchanted golden apples, one of the most powerful food items, in, the most powerful food item in the game, 
Yeah, and then gold nuggets for pumpkin pie, gold nuggets for bread. And then you then we got the Guardian Villager. Which is just like another one of those guys. Still have no idea what the improvement thing is. Oh, the improvement thing. Uh, I think I know what it means. It mean it basically means that they follow you. So if you recruit, if it's green, then they'll follow you, and if it's red, they won't follow you. It's a bit slow doing this over and over and over again. Uh, so then we have the healer villager. So yeah, you can have him follow you, protect, neutral, passive, and other players. So he just heals guys. Now Bob is at 84. Now he's at 94. Now he's at 97. Now he's fully healed. And you have the Hunter Villager. So he'll hunt hostile and neutral mobs. And again, you can recruit him to follow you, but he's basically the archer. Next up is the Ronin Villager. So yeah, he'll target hostile, neutral, and other players. And you can have him follow you. Next up, got the tanker, then we got two more. Uh, tank, I forgot to name him, whatever. Yeah, he protects neutral, passive, and other players. Uh, I'm gonna need one more. Why does it push me away randomly? So we had the tank villager, unknown trade villager. Uh, so he will trade a mace for a carbon hammer, a totem of undying for a healer hat, a diamond for a vial of health boost. We got wizard villager. Uh, and they target neutral passive in other players. So I'm gonna summon Vinny in again and watch them all just gang up on, Vin on Vinny. Yeah, so yeah, you can get a bunch of new villagers. And apparently, and you can get, I don't know why I could only get like one uh, dwarven villager. And I think I can only get one uh, farmer as well, probably. Let's try farmer again. Yeah, I can get another farmer. So their traits are randomized somewhat. Because this time he's trading carrots, torch flowers, and baked potatoes. So they so yeah, their traits are somewhat randomized, but I don't know why it's why you said I can only have one dwarf. Yeah. So there's landmark design, landmark access, landmark coverage. Uh 
And then there's available villagers. So yeah, and they share and that's coordinates where they are. You can change the name, the appearance, whether they're roaming. Recall. Oh that put them in my in my inventory. Okay. Now let's see. Both types will feature various behaviours with most of them being accessible only through the village landmark. You can also grant other players access to your village landmark to help you maintain the village. So if I yeah, also available villages. So Bob Appearance Roaming I can recall Bob. And I can just pair him down. In. But this still doesn't do anything. Ah, oh, now it's a woman one, so it sounds like a witch. So yeah, that's how you craft them. Uh, then there's the invites, and the... Right, so regular villagers. Uh, come in, go from multiple realms, so the hostile entities won't notice these villagers, allowing them to stay in your village freely without you having to worry about their safety. Well, that's... Yeah, so they're just purely for decoration then. We've already seen all the other villagers. So, oh, you can make his katana. Uh, so, activate katana. Charge, perform a dash, and we've been dealing 12 attack points to any entity that passes through. When using this ability, 5 seconds cooldown. So it's an artifact. How do you get the art art out if Don't know how you get the artifact katana? Yeah, you saw I could get the carbon hammer. Basic attack, each attack has a chance to deal a smash attack to the target. Trade from unknown trader, heal his hand, passive grand sea wearer, regeneration and saturation effects when uh, re resting or remaining still for more than 10 seconds. That's not bad because regen and saturation is pretty good and you're going to be standing still if you're low on health or hunger. Uh, you get that from the unknown trader. Never combat to gloves, basic attack. Each attack has a chance to deal knockback to attack. That's not very good. We aim for a shield, a passive when placed in the offhand. Sneaking will grant the wearer the resistance to effect for 8 seconds and inflict attackers or hostile entities with the slowness to effect for 8 seconds. 10 second cooldown, trade from unknown trader. Then you got beetroot salad, the grand saturation effect for 30 seconds. Consuming this food uh, more than once will extend the effects duration. You get that from the fat. You can get that from the farmer. You've got carrot pasta. Grand saturation effect for 30 seconds. Consuming the food will extend it. Straight got from farmer. Dried glowed berries give you strength free effect and the de enhanced space attack to inflict burn effect. Both effects last for 60 seconds and can't be stacked. You get that from the unknown trader. Frozen Sweet Berries, grants resistance to effect and the enhance a basic attack to effect slowness to effect for 3 seconds. Both effects last for 60 seconds and can't be stacked. Again, from the, get that from the online trader. Mushroom Pizza grants the saturation effect for 30 seconds. Consuming this food double that once will extend the effects duration. You get that from the farmer. Uh, Vial of Jump Boost, it gives you Jump Boost free for 60 seconds. Uh, and the duration can't be stacked. Yeah, that's only on the trader. Vial of Speed, increase players, uh, the player's HP by 20 points for 60. Why does Speed increase your HP? That's That doesn't make sense. Health boost increases place HP by 20 points. Increases pay. Yeah, they just copy and pasted the health. So I'm guessing it, uh, that gives you speed and not more HP. And they just 
Dean catch that. That's a really bad mistake to be having there. Yeah, this is kind of cool. Like, you do get, like, more, like, villagers that uh, look different, but it's just, like, kind of... Uh, it's just kind of, kind of cool. Like, and you get some nice new, like, foods, I guess, but... Uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, not super crazy about it. Like, the villagers, the, like, villagers they can hire to basically protect your villagers, cool. Uh, the better than, it means that, you know, you can have them around, but it's not really that difficult to protect your village. Like, if you just get some, like, I, well, I guess you could, like, use them, uh, to not just protect your village, but to just, like, Oh, he hunted a pig. Uh, you could use him to just like fight for you. And basically use him like mercenaries. But yeah, kind of cool. I mean, you do get some unique high lily. Yes, I'll give you, I'll give you kiss kiss. Yeah. And you can get some cool unique traits. And if you want some villages like that are purely for decoration, then the base villages are, uh, well, the like these regular villager guys will do that. So you can, and you also have like uh, modern, medieval, and the d Japanese villagers uh, like style. So you could do that. But yeah, like I said, I'm not too crazy about it. So this. Also, this pushes me back for some reason. I don't know why. Um. But yeah, there's just not a ton to it. So yeah, let me know. Well, let me know what you guys think. Also, I, they really do need just like, and it's not like this is even weird, but they really need, need to just like remove that enchanted golden apple for two iron ingots straight. Um, replace them with like, like sixteen regular apples for an iron ingot or something. I don't know. Or they, or a stack of apples for a like, for an iron ingot or something. I don't know. But the, the enchanted golden apple is just fate is just too OP. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope you found it informative and uh, helped you figure out whether or not you want to get the add-on. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully. And uh, bye-bye.